Given that Tesla stock is currently valued at roughly $120 per share, do you believe it is a good time to buy? Even experts disagree on this, though. Some people think that buying Tesla stock when it is down is a good opportunity, while others don't. You wouldn't want to overlook this knowledge. Tesla has completely revolutionized the auto business pushing electric vehicles into the mainstream and forcing other automakers to adapt or fall behind. The dominance of Tesla over the future of the industry as a stock is currently being challenged by legacy automakers who are rushing to release their own EV vehicles. Tesla has enjoyed tremendous success in recent years despite the roaring of bears who believe the business is overstating the potential of its technology and that CEO Elon Musk is an unreliable leader. The price of Tesla stock has fallen recently. As Tesla stock is down 64% in 2022, investors want to know if it is a good time to buy. Is it wise to buy Tesla shares in 2023? Tesla is currently generating headlines for all the wrong reasons. Tesla stock declines in 2022 as a result of CEO Elon Musk's focus being diverted to his acquisition of Twitter. Some people, though, see the decline as a purchasing opportunity. Star investor Kathy Wood is one of them. She has purchased Tesla shares several times over the past few months, with her most recent purchase occurring on December 15. Many people think Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has been amassing Tesla shares with Kathy. Buffett gave a vague response when asked what he thought about Tesla and its contentious CEO, Elon Musk. He's done some wonderful things. Buffett also stated that Elon Musk, the well-known EV manufacturer, may completely alter various industries. Musk has previously received praise from Buffett for being a nice person, but he has also acknowledged that he can do more and that his tweeting might use some refinement. It is well known how contentious Musk is, particularly in light of the tweets he frequently exchanges with his followers. Some may even contend that the majority of the time Tesla trended, it wasn't the brand itself, but rather its CEO. However, Buffett seems to remain a supporter of GM and BYD despite his optimistic prognosis for Tesla and kind words for its CEO, Elon Musk. Although Berkshire has never invested in Tesla as of the end of 2021, the business had $6.1 billion worth of Chinese electric vehicle shares, BYD Company a DR, and $2.2 billion worth of General Motors stock. The most well-known investor in the world, Warren Buffett, is maybe also the most widely watched. According to a Hong Kong stock exchange filing, the venerable conglomerate of investors sold an additional 3.2 million BYD shares listed on the Hong Kong stock exchange in the previous week, bringing its position down to 15.99%. An estimated $80 million was spent on the deal. This led to even more rumors that Buffett was dumping his BYD investment in favor of Tesla. Rising rumors that Berkshire Hathaway is purchasing or at least getting ready to purchase Tesla shares were not curbed by recent comments made by the company's vice chairman. It should be mentioned that Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's right-hand man, recently said that what Tesla has accomplished in the auto industry is a little miracle. Elon Musk's electric vehicle startup Tesla was praised by Munger in a recent episode of CNBC's Squawk Box, calling it an incredible achievement for the American auto sector. In the interview, Munger added, I was quite shocked that Tesla fared as well as it did. Munger emphasized that he did not compare Tesla with Bitcoin, though. He claims that Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has made some significant contributions to society that other people haven't been able to. In a very long time, there hasn't been a successful new auto manufacturer. Munger referred to what Tesla has accomplished in the auto industry as a small miracle. He has accomplished some amazing things. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, may completely alter a number of industries, according to Warren Buffett. Although Berkshire has never made an investment in Tesla, in a 2022 interview, Buffett praised Musk's achievements at Tesla. Elon didn't after all. He is competing against companies like General Motors, Ford and Toyota, all of whom possess a wealth of resources, but he has an idea and is succeeding. That is the USA. You cannot imagine it. When asked if he would purchase Tesla stock, Warren Buffett responded, it's incredible. The Oracle of Omaha gave succinct responses. Buffett said no. However, people began to question if Buffett was altering his position after Berkshire Hathaway sold shares in BYD, a close rival of Tesla. People assumed that Berkshire was leaving the company since it had not stated the rationale for the sales. 
According to influential Christopher Duncan, there is a 25% chance that Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett have been building up their Berkshire Hathaway Tesla stock holdings. Dungeon tweeted his opinions over Buffett's covert acquisition of Tesla stock. In a tweet from mid-November, Dungeon stated, There is no formal quantitative calculation behind my subjective 25% likelihood. Instead, it is my opinion that there is currently a behind-the-scenes accumulation of at least some tiny scale less than $1 billion. Duncan also discussed some of his theories and justifications for them. He emphasized that Charlie Munger recently praised Tesla and its CEO Elon Musk despite previously disparaging the company in February of this year. It should be remembered that Elon Musk once claimed that Charlie Munger of Berkshire Hathaway informed lunch guests all the reasons his electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla will fail. I was at a lunch with Munger in 2009 where he informed the entire table all the reasons Tesla would fail Musk revealed in a tweet from that month. It made me very sad, but I told him I agreed with all of them and that even though we were probably going to die, it was still worthwhile to try. However, Munger claimed he doesn't remember that in a subsequent interview before praising the business, Dungeon thinks that the abrupt change is due to the fact that you don't disparage a business you own. This makes perfect sense because you wouldn't want the product you spend all that money on to have a terrible reputation. Dungeon also pointed out that Becky Quick failed to follow up with Munger after the interview to find out if Berkshire or he were buying Tesla stock. The discussion subject was off the table prior to the interview, therefore that would ordinarily be a direct follow-up question that was never posed. Dungeon asserts, Dungeon claims that purchasing Tesla stock right now is the ultimate contrarian play because no one wants to touch it. PGMs aren't concerned with the basic principles. They are more concerned about Twitter and Elon increasing share prices. Tesla's worth has absolutely nothing to do with Elon sales. Zero. Dungeon asserts that Buffett has a long view. However, some people think that Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, is negatively affecting the company by selling Tesla shares. As the stock crashed this month, losing more than 29% as of the market close on December 20, it was absolutely pummeling. The stock has already had a difficult year, and this decline makes things even worse. Tesla shares have lost more than 60% of their value year to date, despite the fact that the company's core operations are doing well. For instance, deliveries of Tesla vehicles increased 42% year over year in the third quarter. Compared to Tesla's record, sequential growth was exceptional. Deliveries increased from 254,695 in the second quarter to 343,830 in the third quarter. According to remarks made by Tesla CEO Elon Musk during the company's fourth quarter results call, demand for the vehicles that will be supplied in the last quarter of the year is excellent. In fact, the demand trend is really positive. According to Musk, the business anticipates selling every vehicle it produces for as far into the future as is practical. Achieving a production level of 2,000 cars per week at its new factory in Germany, Tesla's management stated during the company's third quarter results call that the company's vehicle manufacturing is also proceeding smoothly. Management noted that it should shortly reach this same milestone at its new factory in Texas. The period saw record high production at the company's facility in Fremont, California. The corporation is doing well since its free cash flow for the third quarter was $3.3 billion, up 148% from the same period last year. Cash and marketable securities of $21.1 billion, up $2.2 billion sequentially support its balance sheet. When viewed in light of the underlying momentum of the company, the valuation of Tesla stock is beginning to appear appealing. It is always possible that growth won't turn out as planned, especially in the short term, as macroeconomic uncertainties may cause some consumers to put off buying vehicles. Recent firm growth and an intriguing product pipeline support the stock's argument. Owning the infamously volatile stock always carries some risks. According to experts, buying Tesla stock at the current price could make sense as a small portion of your overall holdings. Make sure you sign up for this channel right away.